Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decomposing improper fractions. This is standard 4.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a model here, and it says that it is shaded to represent a mixed number. So that's going to be important for us to keep in mind, with a value greater than one whole. So that we need a, an equation that shows two different ways to represent this mixed number as a sum. So first, what does this represent? It's greater than one whole. They don't really give us a key showing us what equals one whole, so we're going to have to kind of figure that out on our own. But since we know it's a mixed number, right, a mixed number has got like a big, big whole number, and then a fraction right next to it, right? Well, it looks like it's pretty obvious that they're using this right here as your whole, right? So that is one whole bar. So I'm going to say it's one whole bar that is shaded in. And then what is left of the second one? Well, I've got two parts. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, right, if I wanted to write it a little bit cleaner, one and two fifths. Now, how could I write that as an improper fraction? Right, because that might help us when we're looking at our options down here. Well, how many fifths do we have here? Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Obviously, that's five fifths. And then I've got six, seven, right? because I've got an extra two-fifths. So five-fifths and two-fifths, that makes that seven-fifths right there. So one and two-fifths is the same as seven-fifths. This is your mixed number right here. We call this an improper fraction because it has a numerator that is greater than the denominator. Typically, we see the numerator as less than the denominator. So that's an improper fraction. All right, so now that we're looking for one and three, one and two fifths or seven fifths, let's look at our options here. All right, so what we're really going to do here is we are just going to take a look at what we're adding here. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind, hopefully we see that when we add fractions that have the same denominator, we're not adding the, de the actual denominators, okay? we're just using these as the unit, right? So if you were to add two cars and four cars, you would just, two cars and four cars would simply be six cars because the cars is the, is the unit. Well, when I'm adding two-fifths and three-fifths, fifths happens to be my unit. And it might be easier for us to write it like this. If I have two-fifths plus three-fifths, think of it as writing out that as a unit. Well, obviously, that's just going to be five fifths okay well unfortunately five fifths doesn't represent this whole the whole is seven fifths i see what they're doing here they're doing five fifths and then you see this right here they're saying five fifths equals two fifths first off five fifths doesn't equal two fifths secondly they just took the top bar and the the bottom bar and they kind of broke them up so that's that's more of a trick one it doesn't quite work all right so let's check this one B, four fifths and three fifths. Well, four fifths and three fifths are going to make seven fifths. All right, that looks good. Let's see what this one has. Two fifths plus two fifths plus one fifth, right? You can say two fifths, two fifths, one fifth. No, nope. two plus two plus one, that makes five fifths. So that's not going to work. So I get half of it. C, I got four fifths plus one fifth. That's not going to work. That's five fifths. That's just the top bar. I need the whole thing. Now, at least it works. Look, three fifths plus two fifths, that makes five fifths. So at least it works. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for seven fifths. Five fifths plus two fifths. There we go. That's seven fifths. Four fifths plus three fifths, there we go, seven fifths. Seven fifths does, does equal seven fifths, my answer is D.